Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Hustle and Hoops off-season recap. Today, we are going to be talking about the Miami Heat. Miami, Miami, Miami. I'm so sorry that you're going through what you're going through right now. Nothing that I can say that would help what you are feeling as fans, as team, I don't know, whatever. And I feel a little bad, I guess. Like, not really, because y'all are Miami, and y'all are Miami. And I don't really know how to feel, to be honest, because part of it makes me happy, part of it's like, damn, Miami, Miami, and get one, there we go, finally. How long has it been? Not a huge fan of Pat Riley, to be honest. And I think this would be the perfect time for Doob, quote, fresh off the press. Doob says, maybe next year you'll find yourselves a sorry-ass organization to, to completely police for hero but pat riley would never he is old though so we'll see and that's your dude quote for the video but anyways no dame lillard no dame lillard it is what it is you gotta move on probably gonna have to start hero at the point guard i'm not gonna lie and we'll get to that it's looking real rough for y'all the miami heat drafted jaime Jaquez jr in the first round from ucla great fucking heat pick great heat pick i really really like this guy uh, i think he will fit in perfectly at the four position for them a good shooter stretch the floor like i just said can, can flash a little handling here or there. has got some good defense like some really solid defense from what i've seen on ball off the ball uh screens etc it is college so you can't see that much to be honest offensively but i liked what i saw in in the 30 minutes or so of play that i i've seen of him and i'm really looking forward to his fit with the miami heat orlando robinson uh, another young piece from miami who they picked up last year and i believe gave him like a non-guaranteed one mil or something like that last year which he played up to and this year got himself a two-year four million dollar bag however only 75,000 of that is guaranteed Pat, my man for real why like why no need you got the money you got the money you got the money but you spent it for real because you also got josh richardson on a, a josh richardson on a two-year six million dollar deal 2024 2025 player option thomas bryan on a two-year five million dollar deal 2024 2025 player option kevin love extension two-year eight million dollars 20 2024 2025 player option they got him on a re-signing with the biannual exception they also got victor oladipo out of there with two seconds to okc for some cash they got max truce out of there uh lost really to be honest in a sign and trade to cleveland and you got back i don't fucking know nothing you literally got back i think nothing which is disappointing as as i'm sure other miami heats fans have probably already said this offseason before lineups wise you've got kyle at the one maybe but i like hero at the one to be completely honest with you i would put hero at the one josh Richardson at the two despite his age i still think he offers a solid amount of defense and, and okay three-point shooting to where he could fit well in this heat team obviously jimmy butler is your three kevin love is probably going to be your four and bam out of bio is your is your anchor at the five that's basically guaranteed i think with hero hero butler and Adebayo are obvious locks love and and kyle and richardson are obvious question marks if you do have kyle starting at the one that means rj hampton is your starting is your backup point guard scary hours if Hero is starting at the two, Josh Richardson and Duncan Robinson are backing him up. Butler, uh, for Jimmy Butler, you have Nikola Jovic and I mean, Hakez Jr. backing him up. Kevin Love, you got Caleb Martin, the spark plug playoff performer, coming off the bench first, most likely. I just said the right twin, right? It's not Cody, and I didn't just sound like a dumbass. Because Cody was on the Hornets, and then he got lost forever. It's okay. Um, and then for, for Bam Adebayo, you got Thomas Bryant and Orlando Robinson for the backups. I like this team. I think they're okay. I think they suffered some decent hits in the offseason, though. And I'm not sure that they're going to be able to replicate the type of run that they had last offseason or the type of run they had in the bubble. So to be honest with you, is this a finals competitive team that they've built? See you all in the next one. Peace.